Welcome to Scene Nightclub and Bar, the hottest and most popular venue in St. Petersburg. This is the primary setting of Kelly's story. As head bartender, Kelly is very popular and enjoys being the life of the party. Here is Kelly now. She is opening up the nightclub and ushering in a few employees and bar patrons. I'm headed inside. Why don't you join me? Sarah, the manager of the nightclub, has called a quick meeting for tonight's staff to ensure everyone is on the same page. Sarah has just learned that the local college football team has just won their homecoming game. Sarah realizes this is a strategical and entrepreneurial opportunity that she cannot ignore. With her team assembled, she instructs two team members to hang banners inside the club congratulating the football team. She directs Miles, who is a bartender at scene, to adjust the outside marquee accordingly to help draw in the high-spirited crowd and ask the remaining team members to verify par bar inventory and ensure that all shelves are stocked. Now that the shelves are fully stocked, Kelly has completed her assigned task. However, in full Kelly fashion, she begins to make questionable decisions. Stacy, Kelly's good friend and student at the local college, often helps out around the establishment, but is not officially employed there. As a student, Stacy has taken a few management courses and realizes that Kelly's decision to hide a few bottles of liquor for personal use will impact the inventory and Sarah's planning for the evening. As a dedicated friend and enabler, Stacy will unfortunately remain silent on this situation. This is a bad example of managing conflict. The night has just begun and a situation has come up with the DJ. The DJ cannot perform this evening and will be leaving soon. Sarah is now faced with a dilemma. She must now manage the changing conditions immediately on for her plans this evening. Drawing on her analytical skills, she immediately develops a plan that will require acceptance from Miles and added responsibility on Kelly. To effectively implement this change, she convinces Miles to step into the DJ role by building his confidence up. However, she realizes that this will leave the bartending duties on Kelly alone and will need to communicate these changes to her as soon as possible. Sarah makes her way out to the, to the nightclub floor to talk to Kelly about the immediate changes that have occurred. She notices Kelly is out on the dance floor but assumes she is working the crowd. Almost immediately, Sarah is approached by a disgruntled patron. As this happens at least a few times during each evening, Sarah is not initially concerned until she learns more about the complaint. The patron alerts Sarah to the fact that Kelly has spent more time toward partying than she has tended to the bar and she is not the only disgruntled customer as a result. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, Sarah draws on her interpersonal skills and begins to quell the situation. She offers the patron a free drink and refunds her cover charge. In addition, Sarah assures the disgruntled patron that she will resolve the situation immediately. Sarah has called Kelly into the office to quickly assess the situation from Kelly's point of view and attempt to get this evening's operation back on track. As a manager, Sarah knows she needs to control the situation by setting the standard of expected performance. During their conversation, Sarah comes to realize that Kelly's actions were in the best interest of the establishment as she was delivering drinks to the dance floor. As this situation is now resolved, Sarah continues to unveil the changes that have transpired this evening and tells Kelly her plan to get through the rest of the night. Sarah asks Kelly to continue to work the floor while Sarah manages the bar. Sarah has some concerns about the direction, but is left with few options. She has trust in her team and knows that changes are inevitable. She will just have to contend with them as they come. <laughs>